Well, attorneys say the school district failed to protect one of its students from anti-Semitic attack. Now a reward is being offered for any information that leads to a conviction. 8 News Now education reporter Joshua Piguero digs into the allegations of this at a Las Vegas school. There are several questions about what happened on March 9th once a teenager left Clark High School and walked home. A swastika, which is the Nazi hate symbol, was carved into this child's back. And clearly, this is an anti-Semitic hate crime. The victim, a 17-year-old who wore a yarmulke, is autistic and nonverbal. His attorney, Brooke Goldstein, says he had a shadow assigned to guide him around Clark High School. In a statement regarding this incident, CCSD says, quote, police conducted a thorough investigation, including interviews with staff and a review of available camera footage. The investigation found no evidence that would indicate the origin of the injuries. Goldstein disputes those findings and says the fact the perpetrator is still out there is traumatizing. So far to date, um, the investigations have um, you know, at the very least, fallen incredibly short of, of what should happen. Sam Hodari saw the photos and it spurred him to offer a $5,000 reward. That's disgusting and disturbing. And the kid that cannot talk and communicate and went through such a horrific situation. Data from the Anti-Defamation League shows in Nevada last year there were 30 reported incidents of anti-Semitic attacks down from the previous year. But Jolie Brislin with the ADL says it's still concerning. When we see a rise of anti-Semitism taking place, we see a rise of racism, of anti-immigrants, of anti-Asian, anti-LGBT hate. The district adds in a statement that it won't tolerate any behavior that's contradictory to the inclusive community it strives to build. Reporting outside Clark High School, Joshua Figueroa, 8 News Now. And the Anti-Defamation League also says it's currently working with Clark High School and the district to provide anti-Semitism and anti-bias education.